当初ですね、1882年に加納地五郎という加納地五郎師範が合同館柔道を創始したんですけれども、柔術の稽古は型の稽古が中心でした。合同館で行う稽古は型だけでなくですね、自由練習という今言うランドリーです。このランドリーを中心に行いながら、ランドリーの合間に型を入れ込んでいくという稽古法でした。<笑>現在は時代も進み、競技化も進んできてますので、ランドリーはランドリー、型は型として、個別に行うことが多くなっています。ただし、ランドリーに偏って、試合に勝つための柔道になりがちだった昨今ですね、もう一度、柔道の技の基本的なことを見直す必要があるということで、型がさらに重要視され、今は型の世界大会も、There are two methods of training in judo. Kata, which is pre arranged set of drills or techniques, and randori, which is free sparring to resemble match conditions. Hi, this is Shedi, and today we will be discussing the old methodology of training judo, jujitsu, and the early days of the Kodokan. So, what you just saw was actually a clip. From the Empty Mind films,、uh, it was the judo episode, and they explained、uh, many things. In this particular one, they also explain why they banned leg grabs. I used the clip、uh, in my other video, and this one here, you can see that、um, the training methodology in the 1800s was way different than it is today.、Um, randori, kata、uh, were interchangeable, and they were done very frequently, almost at the same、uh, frequency. So, When we think of kata today, we think of the old, pre arranged, boring, static form that we do to pass exams. And randori is very fun. And when we spar for minutes and minutes, rounds and rounds on end, we come back home, we have、uh, bruises on our shins,、uh, we're very tired,、uh, our back hurts, but nonetheless, we're very satisfied because we were able to. You know, do that technique that we've been working on for months, even though we got absolutely smashed. But then again, we got something right at least. So,、um, we can see today why randori is very important.、Um, the world landscape of sports, martial arts, has changed drastically. Now, there is big championships, there is big sponsorships, there is big careers to be made out of martial arts. Back then, the best thing you can do was go out. On challenges and to be a performer, like you would see, for example, in the old history of Brazil.、Um, but being a professional athlete back then, it wasn't like today, so that's why Randori started to have more of a、uh, presence in the judo training. We do Ochikomi, Nagikomi, and then we would spar on end, and that's basically how it's done almost everywhere in the world. Kata doesn't even exist anymore, barely anything. That's why they、uh, even made Kata Championships, just so that it still has its place. But that's the thing、uh, with Kata. Uh, Kata, it's, the way we see it today is the way you know, we are first exposed to it. It's to have、uh, an exam, it's to get your black belt. But in my opinion, it's the very wrong way of looking at it. First of all, the term Kata is very broad. So back then, they did randori a lot and they would drill techniques. That were too dangerous in order for them to get them right through heavy drilling, surprise attacks, and building reflex. Very much like what Pedro Valente explained to me, and you know, the way that Elio Gracie's generation used to train, because that's very close to the early, late 1800s. So,、um, kata is a very big and broad term. You have, yes, the prearranged form for several purposes. For, for a martial art to not die out, to have its techniques preserved, and to, to have good form while performing a technique. For example, let me tell you why the way we train kata today is the wrong way.、Um, I'm gonna say here in France, for example,、um, nage no kata, it starts being trained at brown belt in order to、uh, prepare for、uh, black belt or your shodan. 
but it has the form for or the basic form for all the throws for Ashwaza, you know, the hip tosses, the hand techniques, etc. So it makes zero sense, in my opinion, to learn it after you become a decent judoka um, and then uh, learn it in order to have your black belt. Another thing is um, kata training. As you heard the man uh, in the last few seconds say, it's a set of uh, prearranged forms and also drills. So drilling was also a thing for reflex to train atemi and also dangerous techniques. Um, kata back then was not the kata of today. Finally, I will leave you with the words of Jigoro Kano to really understand that kata has changed over the years. Um, in the last chapter of Mind Over Muscle, um, it's about kata practice. Now, obviously, I'm not going to read the entire chapter, but the gist of it is basically the following. He says, um, I know that randori is very fun and that's why we all flock to it. And kata can be very boring because it's a bit static compared to randori. But um, kata has a lot to teach you. He says, first of all, it teaches you good atemi. Uh, and also it teaches you good defense and reflex against atemi. So here, from that sentence alone, you can see that they were drilling in a very dynamic manner. Yes, it wasn't full-on sparring, but it was, I would believe, you know, uh, against attacks, against grabs, against uh, weapons, etc. So that's their way of drilling back then. It wasn't just the way that it's, um, you know, prepared as a series of techniques, and that's just it. Uh, another thing that is that he says it's injury free, and you can do it till old age. From the age of 30 and up, Kano really reduced his randori time and really. Uh, dedicated his time to develop all of Kodokan's katas. We have, uh, I think, one or two that are from old jujitsu, the uh, Itsutsu, and the other one, uh, which is from uh, Koshiki no Kata, which is basically um, very much like uh, Kitoriyu, but everything else was just actually um, Kodokan made and Kodokan invented. Some are official and some are not official. So, here you can understand the training methodology it was 50 50 kata drills from slow to very fast and you have your full-on randori which was just all grappling between newaza and tachiwaza uh no striking just grappling so um it, this is the thing with of research you have to watch old movies or new movies like this one you have to read the old books to see to have um a little bit of a clearer image of what these old masters did. Um, you can never fully know. For example, when you uh, watch the debate of Drysdale and Pedro Valente, they were talking about old, um, you know, newspaper articles that said this, that said that. You can never fully know, but you can gather up many resources and try to paint the image much clearer yourself and also by discussing it with others. So if you have anything else to add, please let me know down below. Also, consider supporting me on Patreon. I have exclusive content for the patrons only. And also, please do not forget to check out Josh Simon's shop in the description below for articles and t-shirts. This was Shadi, and as always, thank you for listening.